we have a very high dropout rate during the one year free men that's somebody's phone turn it off before I shove it up your ass it's not fair enough I'm not asking for your fucking validation moron I got a fucking email from some Muslim guy today that said I slagged off Allah go fuck yourself I slag everybody off fuckhead so you can just go fuck yourself you have never met anybody like me and you probably never will cuz you're a cunt where's the vagina cream I give you this vagina cream so you can rub it on your snatch cuz you're all cunts and everybody you know is a cunt don't you understand that do you know anybody with any balls whatsoever do you know any real men No, the answer is no. First of all, Bill Gates doesn't hang. Warren Buffett doesn't chill. Jeff doesn't hang. Steve didn't hang. Dan doesn't chill. Only losers hang. Only fucking losers chill. You got loser fucking DNA. And I'm trying to give you a fucking template to fight off that loser, goddamn, like the devil's gonna make me do it. You gotta fight that loser off. But it's in your Aussie brain. You ask the same fucking questions. You're an insecure old man. It's that simple. God damn it. How many fucking times do I have to tell you? I've had women come to the seminar. They talk to their mother 15 times a day. Now listen to this 15 fucking times a day. What possibly can you sit, tell your fucking mother 15 fucking times a day? other than neurotic shit. What? 15 times a day! What the fuck? You can't help yourself. You ought to go, okay, go home to your mother. Boom, boom! Kill your fucking parents, metaphorically speaking, of course. They fucked you up! I'm giving you a way to unfuck yourself! After you buy a company, how do you insure the cap? I can't even read that question. Go back to that question, please. When you buy a company, how do you ensure the cash flow covers the debt? You fucking meathead! You determined it before you buy the cocksucker! You fucking moron! Cash flow, free cash flow, has to cover the motherfucking debt service! How many fucking times do I have to say this? You fucking retard! You think it's funny. It's not fucking funny. You lived all your life. When you come home from work at night and your wife says that you're a slut that you're living with, how was, oh, it was a motherfucker today. It was a bitch. The boss wasn't nice to me. And I, I lost two sales because I'm such a vagina. That's how you sound when you come home. Why would anybody be inspired by you fucking spineless cunts? I've been accused of a lot of things, but not being enthusiastic ain't one of them. That's poor English. If you don't think you can fuck all night, by God, you can't fuck all night. Guilt. You should have rolled down room, down that fat fucking thigh. And I can say that because when you're pregnant, all women have fat thighs. It's not just because you're fat. They got fat thighs. Cause it's, and some of your moms gained 60, 80 pounds, 40 fucking kilos. Jesus Christ. Fucking sickening. They look like fucking Volkswagens. And you know I'm telling the truth. You know, they look like rhinos. But it's for the baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Believe me, I know I heard this shit, you know. And nobody likes to gain weight like a, a Latino when they're pregnant. Now, I don't want a bunch of shit from you girls. I mean. No. <laughs> you know, can't get enough fucking food in their mouths. <sighs> but I'm your last bet, kids. I'm it or a bullet in your head. Metaphorically speaking, I can't say that because one of you is going to blow your brains out and then your wife's going to sue me or your girlfriend or somebody's going to sue me. So metaphorically speaking, you ought to put a gun in your motherfucking head. You got a nice fat head, a black head. Put it, you got to jam it up to the a roof of your mouth. No bullshit, because we've had people blow the side of their cheeks out.
They can't even kill themselves right. Now, now, you realize laughing and smiling is a coping mechanism for insecurity, you fucking idiot? Nobody's ever told you that before, have they? Are you fucking shitting me? <laughs> what am I going to do with it? I'm going to rip your fucking head off and shit down your neck, you little cunt. <laughs> what do you mean, what am I going to do with it? That's, a, well, that's where the world is today. <laughs> what am I going to do with the cricket bat? I'm going to split your motherfucking head open and shit down your neck. That's what I'm going to do with it. Now, a few years ago, my wife and I were in Australia. We listened to a couple explain to their children how they were going to map their entire careers. The kids were 13 and 15, respectively. How they were going to map their careers, how to get the best job with the best statutory leave. What the fuck? That's how you, I mean, why? We're, I, have, I was bloody on my shin. The shadow kept kicking me. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Boom, boom. Don't say anything. I just, I wanted to go and choke that mother. I wanted to choke her eyes out of her fucking head. And then I wanted to beat the old man until he was like a, like a goddamn watermelon. Those kids have no chance. None. And there was another young couple there that was mapping their life already based on statutory leave. And they were Americans. It made me even more sick. How can the kids have a chance? Going from job to job just so they can accumulate more statutory fucking leave. 99.9% .9 of all the people that have been helped by my program in 25 years, I've never met. There's some people in this audience that have actually been to my seminar. I'm not pointing them out because I don't want to embarrass them. Because I don't want you mobbing them. Because that's what happens. And the reason why the testimonials on my side don't have last names is because I learned a big lesson 15 years ago, last time I did that. There are people that had to move their houses because people like you were knocking on their fucking door hounding them like dogs. Some people, we don't even have their faces because you're afraid you're going to do face, facial recognition and hound them down like goddamn dogs. You're going to take responsibility, you fucking weenie cunts, for the first time in your fucking lives. You are going to pick every cocksucker on your team and you're going to either sail the ship or go down with the fucking ship. You! And if you think I'm going to hold your hand, you're full of shit. You came to the wrong place. You might as well burn the 25 grand in the fireplace. Because that's not what I do. I build men here. And looking at this fucking group, I got a lot of work cut out the next 12 months. You're going to take responsibility, Irish. And Irish, Ireland's a fucking, like an albatross on my fucking neck. They're hard fucking work. What else about Frank? Now, yeah, I mean, it's tough to find anybody with this got a weenie more than one centimeter long. I was walking, I mean, these guys, we were in Starbucks. No, uh, went in one of those places this morning. I looked at these kids. I almost was going to jump up and go, ah! And I'll shit their pants. <laughs> Literally. The one guy that kept on looking at his hair going like this, and he had a mirror in his phone. I never saw that before. You have a mirror. And he's going, I just wanted to go up and just and hit him in the head. Um, we'll pass out your vagina cream later. Why do I give you vagina cream? Okay, could you read that, please? What does it say? Can you read English? Yes. What's it say? Quickly cool. No, no, what's it for? How to you? No, what, what's it for? For, um... It's for itchy vaginas. Fuck, you're gonna... I told you you were gonna have problems last night. I told you you were gonna pee a pan in my... Well, I didn't know you were gonna be an itch in my ass. Asians are problems. We'll get into all that. But the bottom line is, everybody's a problem. Do me a favor, fat ass. Drop out while you still can. Drop out while you still can. It's less work for me. 
because I actually read all your shit. I'm ashamed to say. I'm embarrassed to say. Contrary to all the gurus that you listen to, there's not a cocksucker of you li- ones that you listen to that have, don't even know your fucking name. I'm embarrassed to say I actually know their names. Like the Aussie meathead here. Like our, our Muslim brothers. I'm being sarcastic. I dealt in the Middle East. I know the Middle East. And I know what they're good for. Not much. Is it time to eat? Or do I have to scream a few more minutes? Have to scream a few more minutes? I used to ride around with a riding crop. And if, I, if you look like you were going to sleep, boom, I'd hit you in the face with it. We had a lady psychiatrist pass out and crack her head on the wall. I just kept rolling. We had people shit their pants in the seminar. I just kept rolling. I've had people piss their pants in the seminar. I just kept rolling. When I was at the Naval Academy just a few weeks ago, we had a guy have, go, go into seizures and convulsions. I just kept fucking rolling. Because that's life, guys and gals. Nobody gives a fuck about your sorry vagina. Nobody. And if you're hanging, chilling with people that give a fuck, you're hanging and chilling with the wrong motherfuckers. Bill Gates doesn't give a fuck if you live or die. Don't you fucking get it? This is what you should do. Metaphorically speaking, of course, for the lawyers. You should blow your fucking brains out. Now, I'm not suggesting anybody kill anybody. I'm just speaking metaphorically speaking, of course, because I wouldn't want anybody. Fuck you! Not everybody deserves to be alive! Fuck you! I've had this 25 years and I've never replaced the battery. You're an asshole. Fucking jerk. Eat shit. Never replaced the battery. My new one. Oof, my new one I just broke. <laughs> Shit. Well, it apparently is not going to last like, well, I guess, well, the new one and the poor President Trump on it. But there's something mystical about this one. The final word, somebody gave me this, the first seminar back in, um, May of 93. Fuck you! And when you take it apart, and it has those two batteries in it, never replaced, unless somebody comes up here at night and, and, repla- <laughs> and replaces them. Yeah. Yeah, who, if you were a woman, for the woman, who would want to fuck anybody in this room? Give me a break. Look at you. Look in the fucking mirror, please. Now, in the old days, in the 90s, I used to ask the gals, I don't do that anymore. Would you fuck any of these? I'm not asking you, ladies. I'm not. <laughs> but would you fuck any of these guys? Give me a break. That's why that, that uh, Sabra showed me the fucking uh, masturbation uh, app. I wish we had filmed that. That I wish we had on camera, but we didn't. For most people in this room, nothing can ever help you. You're beyond it. You're past it. You've given up on life. And what's even more sad and pathetic, as my Irish partner would say, you've given up on your kids. For those of you that have kids that are roughly this age, you know what they look like. And for you uh, people that have kids that are many years older than that, you knew what, look back at your picture albums when they were happy, before you fucked them up. And whether you're illiterate or you got one eye, doesn't make a shit. When you're two foot three, we still, but don't go see him. That, 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 this is when and I would do Skype without a picture. <laughs> uh, now, now you see, you, you all think I'm bullshitting when I'm saying this. I'm telling you the fucking truth, you fucking monkeys. I've been doing this 50 fucking years. 
If you're a Mongoloid, if you're the hunchback of Notre Dame, you don't want... And financially, all of you are. In fact, Quasimodo better than you. Everybody know who the hunchback of Notre Dame is? Quasimodo? That's what you are financially. You don't know a fucking thing. So when I tell you, use Skype without a picture, I fucking mean it. Don't laugh like it's a joke. I'm not making a joke. And if you're six foot ten, you go see him. And if you're a reasonably good looking uh, woman, I don't, I'm not even going to go there. And you don't even have to do it on your back. I'm telling you, you know, these are the tips. Of, the, these are the shortcuts. And you sit there with your thumb up your ass like I'm making a joke. You fucking retards. You laugh. You guys laugh, but you, I can't wait. I can't wait to read your fucking things. And I hope that you're fucking... Uh, I, I started to read the homework. I got sick. I threw up. Some of you can't even write English. You got a problem. And I'm not talking about the guys where English is not your main language. Some of you are illiterate. Everybody understand illiterate? Retarded. Now, if you're retarded, it takes a little longer. It's not impossible. If you're retarded. They, they don't call it, now you're, what is it? Mentally disadvantaged, what, what the fuck? Are, special, special needs. Some of you are special needs. Some of you are real special needs. You know, and now you can, you're hair disadvantaged. You're not a bald, ugly fuck. You're hair disadvantaged. Or you're not a fat, lard ass. Now you're weight disadvantaged. And you're not a midget. You're height disadvantaged. You fuck you. All the dwarfs that are watching, up your ass. You're a fucking dwarf, midget, fat ass, retard. That's what you are. Sue me. Line up. I mean, most of you, this is what your parents should have given you at three years old. The sock on. To blow your fucking brains out. Ask your mother, YouTube. Go back and ask your parents. Was I on purpose, mom? Was I on purpose, dad? And look at the look at the look in their fucking face. They won't even have to answer in words. You fucking sorry vaginas.